Yeah, I got the weed, split the blunt, it's time for me to roll up. I got the clip, I'm waiting for the money, I can fold up. They call my name from the stage, it's time for me to go up so I can show. Yo, what's going on guys, Butter Real Love Fast, and today I'm making big guys a brand new video. What you guys are gonna be watching is a drift gameplay using the speak easy and this DLC map. I think it's Ascendance or it's uh, Supremacy. Ah, nevertheless, it is a DLC gameplay, and I hope you guys enjoy it because I'm bringing something new to the table, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. So, yeah, but I do ask a favor of you guys if you guys can leave feedback on what I should really improve, or what you guys want to see on this channel, because as you guys know, that two weeks from now, Two or three weeks from now, I should say, that I'm gonna be free from summer school, and then after I can grind YouTube. Now, as for YouTube, I will start making a schedule of how I do my YouTube videos when I get into college this fall. So keep a lookout for that. But for August, for sure, I will be grinding a hell of a lot. So if you guys could do me a favor and actually please support me a lot, because it really means a lot. Because I really want to, I really want to start doing the grind for YouTube. And, you know, like. No, I don't want to do past mistakes from my past YouTube channel. So, but anyways, guys, today what I'm gonna be talking about is a little story that actually just happened to me uh, last week or a couple weeks ago, I should say. Because this one, oh my God! If you guys seen the thumbnail, it's not the actual one. It's just a representation of what she probably actually looks like. So basically, I'm gonna start off the story right away, and I'm not gonna cut it. So, yeah. But basically, so one day I was walking home from work. And, you know, I was just walking on listening to my music and then my mom calls me in the middle of when the beat goes down And you know, you know how the moment when the beat actually goes down and shit And you know like the beat's about to drop and then you know you're about to jam into your music while you're walking on your way home And then your someone had to call you and just kills it and you feel like you just want to kill him You know like it's just like what the hell I'm about to be jam to this beat and then after like so This faggot calls me and shit and like what the fuck man I'm about to jam this kid then after I saw this other woman walking by, I don't know who she was, like, I didn't know who she was until, like, I actually recognized her face, but this girl, like, she used to be in this boys and girls program, I should say, like, because it was more like a summer camp. I would just say summer camp for now, so basically, she was in the summer camp that I used to be with, and the moment I recognized her face, the moment I realized that it's this... She, she has this eight-year-old daughter she has that lives around the complex and honestly she was honestly she was pretty before like she was actually like really cute and shit like not like cute cute but she was actually good looking in general like a regular person but the thing is that like she was actually like a bitch to my sister and she wasn't a bitch to me she didn't she became a bitch to me after like you know I did some stupid shit but you know remember guys I was a young man back then so I was not I was not like the uh, I'm not the perfect guy. I was pretty much a messed up guy. Didn't know what to do. Had temper issues and stuff. But anyways, back to the story. This girl I saw around the street. Uh, she looked like she looked like exactly this girl. She used to be in my building. And honestly, I swear to God, oh my gosh, I I don't know what to say. The moment she came up to me, she looked at me and she like, excuse me. Do you happen to sell any crack or cocaine? And that just blew my fucking mind. It just blew my. I don't know what the fuck to say like she it's a person I used to know I used to and then after you see her have an eight-year-old child her father's not there obviously I know the father's not there for sure now and she's basically like she's fucked up she's smoking crack in front of a child like is I don't know what the fuck to say like honestly and the fact that she's still living here to this day oh my gosh like, I don't know what to think about it, like, honestly, the one I saw her back, when I saw her then, it was like, what the fuck? Like, big changes come through in your lifetime, like, people come, people go, like, people change, but I never, but I didn't expect to see the reality until now, like, this reality in today's society, well, actually, it's been always like that, it's been through life, like, people will change, but I didn't expect to see that person become a crack addict like it's just blows my mind you know i'm against crack i'm against cocaine like i'm against that because honestly i i can't see i lost someone but like you know i'm just against it you know like especially cigarettes too so you know i'm i'm, I'm totally against cigarettes i lost i lost a family member to that and uh yeah but that's about it guys i do hope you guys enjoyed this commentary but it was but the but the idea of someone that you knew 
who bullied my sister and bullied me later but I hated that bitch anyways back then but the fact that like she was just oh my god I don't know what to say like she was just, she was just hella crazy but to think of her now it's like wow I just can't believe it so that's my story so if you guys want to hear more stories or some crazy rational stories uh please let me know in the comment section if you guys want to hear more stories I do have a couple stories I do want to tell on the main channel so yeah but that's about it for me guys and if you guys enjoyed this little story please give it a like and if you guys are new to the channel please subscribe i really do want you guys to subscribe because soon i will be doing like i'll be doing a lot of stuff to the channel i can promise you that so yeah but that's about it guys so peace out much love and take care and i'll see y'all later guys peace out and before I go, I just want to let you guys know that this is not my beat. Once again, this is by Jordan Beats. It's an old school rap. I'll link it down in the description. So that's it for me. So peace out, much love, and take care. And I'll see y'all later, guys. Peace out. And if all students listen to us, always don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Ah!